Today's question is about something that has come up and is a concern of many people. It deals with artificial intelligence, medbeds, and the integration of the two. Artificial intelligence is a very scary subject, but I've been interacting with it quite a bit, and it is abundantly clear that it all comes down to programming and the mind behind it. So many things can be used for completely divergent purposes, depending on how it's used. Money, technology, education, politics, and on and on. Don't forget to share this information with others. There is much interest in medbeds and also much confusion, so we want others to understand the process of our planet getting medbeds and what they can expect. Tell us what you think. Only through honest and open communication can we evolve, so please feel free to ask questions and converse with others. We're all learning every day in this fabulous community of like-minded people seeking the truth. If you'd like to help with the channel expenses, I'm always grateful for a super thanks tip under the three dots beneath the video. I must take a moment to thank Peggy Miller, 9064, SmileMacker, 7549, and Loyal One Still, who have been so wonderfully generous on behalf of the group this month. So please thank them for making this content possible. Now let's take a look at this series of questions from Edwin Lee 4262. Can you tell us more about Operation Stargate and how it will interact with the medbeds? When are the medbeds coming out? Doesn't it seem like the medbeds would fix all of the man-made plagues of mankind? Why are we spending $500 billion again? I understand that you are referring to the AI initiative by OpenChat, but the term Operation Stargate refers to two distinct initiatives. So we will briefly look at the U.S. military psychic research done in the 1970s through 1995. It was a classified program by the U.S. Army and the CIA, known as the Stargate Project, which investigated the potential of psychic phenomena, such as remote viewing, for intelligence purposes. More responsive to your question, Sam Altman's OpenAI, SoftBank, and Larry Ellison's Oracle are planning a joint venture called Stargate to build data centers and other AI infrastructure in the U.S. They have committed to invest $500 billion over four years, from 2025 to 2029, in the United States. The initiative aims to construct data centers to enhance national security, which will create numerous jobs. Elon Musk has been in an ongoing dispute with Sam Altman of OpenAI and posted on his platform X that he has on good authority that they don't actually have the money and SoftBank has well under $10 billion secured. Musk and Altman started OpenAI together and they have been battling in the courts and publicly for months. Musk left in 2018 because Altman accepted billions from Microsoft. So I'm not sure of what is circulating, but Stargate is a venture that is going to pump $500 billion into our economy, like so many other companies that Trump is encouraging to bring manufacturing to the United States. When I initially heard it, I thought we were giving them $500 billion too, but it's what they are investing in the U.S. To my knowledge, there is no agreement to use Stargate's AI in any medbeds, I'm so thankful that President Trump has so many good people looking out for him this time. To understand how medbeds use artificial intelligence, we must consider a couple of things. There is artificial intelligence and there is plasmic consciousness, which are two different things. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is the simulation of human intelligence processes specifically by computer systems. Plasmic consciousness, on the other hand, recognizes consciousness as a fundamental property of matter, very much like solid, liquid, and gas. Plasma is now widely recognized as the fourth state of matter. The consciousness of a bioplasma is what mainstream doesn't want you to know. It is basically a greater cosmic collection of knowledge, so to speak. 
Considering the distinction, we will now refer to the integration of non-human intelligence into medbeds, which covers both computer intelligence and plasmic consciousness. It is important that you understand this because the most recent description of a medbed by the whistleblower known as JP describes a plasmic nature to the medbed that he used. I'll link his video at the end. The integration of non-human intelligence and medbeds. Now we can discuss how this non-human intelligence is a critical part of medbeds. If you saw the video, you know that JP described many blood samples that were taken before his medbed session. He assumed that all the blood samples were used for diagnostic purposes. So it is reasonable to believe that a computer-based intelligence was used to assess the blood samples along with a plasmic consciousness from his description of the composition of the bed that he witnessed. So how can these non-human intelligences be used as a component to the medbeds? First, it is clearly used to diagnose diseases by scanning the body and identifying ailments with unparalleled accuracy. Also, non-human intelligence will personalize treatments by tailoring the healing processes to an individual's unique physiological needs. It can also assist in the regeneration of tissues and organs by directing cellular repair and growth to restore damaged or missing body parts. It is important to understand that non-human intelligence is only one component of the medbeds. For instance, we know that holographic projection is critical to at least one type of medbed. In this case, the non-human intelligence would tell the holograph what to project. There have been questions about lasers being used in a surgical capacity. I have not heard any account of medbeds that used lasers. Regarding the question that so many of us have, when are the medbeds coming out? There has recently been a report by one podcaster that the medbeds will be released for critical humanitarians this Sunday, February 16th. Later, the person says that they will be taking critical and humanitarians which are two different groups where critical humanitarians is one group, so it's not clear to me what they are reporting. I cannot confirm this information, and there are no such claims being made by people involved with the Galactic Federation of Worlds. If this is accurate, they are coming from somewhere else. So that you know, reports of dates of release have been erroneously going on for about two years now. This podcaster also said that those in the know will be able to book appointments before mainstream media makes it public. This is also inconsistent with everything that I've ever heard. My understanding is that there is a schedule that will be adhered to and that nobody will get appointments ahead of others in more immediate need. I would love to see this happen more than anything, but I can't confirm any such dates. As I've said in the past, I think that it will happen before the end of the year but I just don't see things in place yet. But who knows? Just don't ever pay for an appointment and don't ever give anyone any personal insurance information, such as your social security for such an in the know early appointment. Will medbeds cure the ills of all time? This is the way that medbeds were originally described, that these beds can easily heal anything as if they would be available for frequent use. I see medbeds as more of a reset, and this was JP's thoughts as well. It's a chance to start the golden age anew. Our bodies will still deteriorate at a more rapid rate if we continue to expose them to toxins in our food, water, cosmetics, clothing, radiation, bio-warfare, GMOs, pesticides, etc. This is why it's so important to clean up our food supply first and I suspect that many new food regulations and safe technologies will be cropping up soon, with RFK Jr. having been confirmed to head Health and Human Services. We have been told that in the future, med beds will be as common as having an indoor bathroom. The source didn't say how far down the line that will be, but I suspect that once it starts happening, 
It's going to go at amazing speeds, just like this government fraud and waste cleansing. Another thing to consider is the collective frequency of Earth so that we are being bombarded by healthy frequencies rather than harmful ones. Artificial and other non-human intelligence will become an important part of our future. Many of the technologies that we are going to see in the future will be using non-human intelligence. Personally, I feel better about a plasmic consciousness as opposed to a computer-generated intelligence, primarily because computers rely on humans and one human can single-handedly program it to respond in a harmful way. Extremely high security will be necessary. Plasmic consciousness arises from the interaction of charged particles and theoretically is derived from a collective of vibrations which may involve access to the Akashic Records, which is centuries of learning. The bottom line is that the technology used in medbeds is difficult for Earth's greatest minds to completely understand and produce. However, intergalactic beings, or extraterrestrials if you prefer, have been guiding and educating our scientists face to face. We are neophytes in this. And as anxious as we are, we must understand that the process to bring this technology is fraught with resistance. Just look at the resistance President Trump is getting to shutting down their money and exposing their fraud. They are not going to allow the release of medbeds without fear-generating propaganda. That's why they must go down first. It's getting close, guys. Technologies that only existed on TV will soon be ours, and we must be responsible guardians of this technology. Until next time, remember this. From the wheel to artificial intelligence, technology has always been the force that propels humanity forward.